many landscape trees fail due to problems of girdling roots or circling roots uh, at the soil surface? And this can happen for a number of reasons. Um, the roots, what happens is they develop uh, in a circle instead of growing out away from the plants and they end up just choking each other out and eventually cutting off the water supply to the plant, killing it. So this can happen as we have here in a little perennial, but the same thing happens with our trees. And there's a number of factors that can lead to this. One is when the tree is planted too deep. Remember, we wanna see this flare of the tree when the plant uh, is put in the ground. Also, when mulch is piled too high around the base of the plant, the roots will actually end up growing in that nice, loose material. So that can be a contributing factor. A lot of times we purchase plants that are already having this problem from the garden center. So it's important to slide trees and even shrubs, pretty much all your plants out of their container and look at the roots. And if you see the roots growing uh, in a circle in that container, you wanna look for a better plant uh, to put in your garden. So sometimes we don't actually cause the problem. Uh, we've moved into a landscape where the trees have been there and even if the problem exists we can still correct it. One thing I encourage is annually checking, uh, clearing off the the soil around the root, uh, around the surface of the tree to get back to the proper level. Um, but about every three or four years we want to go ahead and gently dig down until we expose the surface roots and you can do this with your hands or um, a small tool but there's going to be a lot of fine roots up here so we do want to be careful not to just dig in so use more of a scraping motion and pull that soil away until we expose the uppermost roots what we want to find are roots growing out away from the tree rather than growing in a circular motion this excavation what I was looking for is exposing any shallow roots close to the soil surface and then also looking for where these larger roots are developing. Um, ideally what we would see is all the roots growing out and away from the tree if it was uh, planted properly and the roots were developing well. And I do find uh, a couple of nice roots growing out and away but there's a couple of challenging roots in here. This one starts here and it grows around and as we follow it it actually comes right next to the root ball and continues to grow back behind the plant so this is a real characteristic of a, a girdling root a circling root it's going to just continue to grow around and that's one we want to remove um, there's another one right here and it's coming right across the root ball here if i pull that back a little you can see it's coming all the way from back here um, but when I release it, you can see it's just going right across that root ball. So that's another one I want to remove. And for small trees and small roots, it's very easy to just come in and clip those out using a hand pruner. If it's a larger root, uh, you might use a lopper. And it's okay if you leave a little piece of the root in there um, from the other end. Now for a larger tree, you're going to want to consult an arborist. We recently worked with an arborist on a mature oak, a very large oak in our arboretum. And you can see where he cut a very large section of this big root out to prevent any further damage from the circling roots. So large trees, I wouldn't tackle myself. I'd get some professional help with those. Now once you've cleaned out any circling roots, you can go ahead and Put the soil back and I want to mention this is something you're going to do uh, in the morning or on a cloudy cool day because these roots are pretty sensitive. You don't want to do this when it's really hot out um, because they can dry out pretty quickly. So you want to protect those nice uh, sh shallow and um, the water feeding roots, those fine fibrous roots. Now as I bring the soil back in here I felt like it was maybe a little high on this trunk. It was up to about here kind of at the top of the flare so i'm gonna bring the soil back more uh, at the base of that flare and we'll work on maybe removing some of the soil 
and leveling it out around the tree. So we can check for circling roots on our plants about every three to four years, but each year when it's time to come in and mulch, it's a great idea to just do a little spring cleanup and um, pull the mulch and any soil away from the base of the trees until you can see that nice flare. And if you do this every year, you'll be able to just bring a broom in and pull that soil away very easily. This little bit of annual maintenance will ensure a nice healthy tree for years to come. Mm -hmm.